In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make this beautiful portfolio area in your Elementor website. So here we can add all of your websites you have worked with and you can also filter them by clicking on these categories. Also, when you click on any of these items, you can see a live preview of that and from these toggle buttons, you can check its responsiveness on the tablet and the mobile devices. Here is also a visit site link. So if you want to visit the actual website, you can also do that. This portfolio is also perfectly responsive. It looks perfect from the tablet, mobile or any other devices. So without any further ado, let's see how can we make that. Ok here I will start everything from scratch but if you don't want to watch this full tutorial and only want to get this whole thing as a relevant template, you can also get this from my template shop. And here after downloading this, you will get a zip file like that. So you just need to unzip that on here and inside that you will get both the container and the non-container version. I'm using the new container version so let's go to here and I want to upload this to this template upload option. Just drag this inside here. Here is this one, responsive live preview box. Let's just insert this and we can see our gallery. So from here, if you click on this gallery, here we can see multiple categories. So inside each of these categories, you can see multiple items. So for example, if we go inside these categories, we can see multiple items here. You can delete these items and add your own images by clicking on this button here. Okay. Now here with any of these images, if you want to add a caption, you can write that from here. And also inside this description field, you can put the link for your live preview. Ok, now click on insert gallery and save this. If we see it from our preview, here now if we hover over on that, we can see that caption here. And when you click on that, we can also see the live preview of that link. Ok. And like this item, if you also want to do the same thing with the other items, you just need to go to that gallery option and do the same thing for your other images. Ok. So for now, I want to delete all of this content inside this page and I want to start everything from scratch. Now inside this blank page, to add our gallery, we need to search for the gallery widget and drag this under here. And if you don't know, this gallery widget is only available in Elementor Pro. So if you don't have Elementor Pro, you can also quickly get this from my link on the description. So first with our this gallery, I want to add multiple categories like that. So for this here, instead of the single, I want to make it to multiple. And here is the option for adding multiple categories. Name this to portfolio and add some item inside that. And then add another category and also add some other items. Then the last one, e-commerce. Okay, after adding all of this, first of all, I want to make its column to 3 and make the space between them to 50 pixel. Also make the image ratio to fully square one by one. And you can see this image looks a little bit blurry. So I want to increase the quality of the image to medium large. And I don't want this initial animation, so also disable this lazy load. So now here when you click on these images, we can see the default Elementor light box with these images. But I don't want that. So here instead of the media file, I want to make it to custom URL for now. We will work on that later. But before that, on hovering on these images, I want to show a text above that. So to do that, first we need to go to this image option. And here on this caption, we need to add the text. And like this, let's also quickly add the text for the other images. After adding all of these captions, here we need to go to this overlay option. And from here, we need to select the title to this caption value. Now, if we hover over on that, we can see the captions for each of these items. After that, go to this style option. And here I want to add some border because for some white images, you can see it's difficult to find these edges. So I want to add a slight light border, make it to one pixel and make 10 pixel of border radius. Then from this content option, I also want to change the font size of this 18 pixel, make the font weight to 500 and also give it a line height. And you can see I have already made this DM Sans font to the global font. So this will be applied for all of our text. Okay. 
Next, I also want to edit this. So from this filter option, I want to make its color to black and on the hover and the active, I want to make it to this blue color. And also adjust its typography. And lastly, make the gap under here to 35 pixel. Now that looks perfect. Now here, under each of these captions, I also want to add a C preview button. But here we cannot see any option like that. So we will do that by using a tricks. So first, here under this gallery, we want to add a container here. And inside this container, I want to add a button. And here change this text. Go to the style and I want to change its color to this blue color. Make the font size to 14 pixel and also make the rounded corner. Make the radius to 20 pixel and adjust the padding. Now what I want to do, I want to clone this button multiple times and paste this button inside each of these items. So we will do that by using some JavaScript code. But before that here we need to add a class with our this container. So make it to rpv-preview-button and then with our these galleries we need to add an another class rpv-gallery and then we need to add some javascript code. So for that here search for the html widget and drag this to here and inside that we need to paste this code. Okay and we can instantly see that button for each of our these items. So here you also don't need to worry about this code snippet. I will give all the code snippet to my website and also give that website link to my description. So from here you just need to copy and paste that code. Okay now here we can see we need some spacing at the top of this button. So we can also easily do that. So if I just go to this button settings and add some top margin from here. You can see this margin will be applied for all of our this cloned button. That's really cool. Now with our this title, here I also want to add a background color and when I hover over on these items, instead of this default fading, I also want to improve this animation. And all we are gonna do by using the custom CSS. So let's go to this gallery widget settings and go to its custom CSS and paste this code snippet. Now when you hover over on that, we can see that beautiful animation. Okay, but with this white background color, we cannot read this text. So again, go to this content and I want to make the text color to the black. Now we can see that. Now here at the bottom, we don't want to show this button. I just use this for our cloning purpose. So go to this container settings and go to this advanced option, go to responsive. And I want to hide this whole section for all of the devices. So now from our preview, we cannot see our this bottom button, okay? So we have created our gallery. After that here, we also need to add our this pop-up. So for this, under here, we need to take a new container. So let's drag this to here. And first of all, I want to make it to full width and make it to 100 VH and make its background color from here to this blue color but make it to a semi-transparent and lastly also make some padding. So basically we have made our this pop-up overlay. Now inside that we need to take our this main pop-up. So take this container and make it switch to full width. And inside that we need to take another two container, one for our this top bar and another one for our this actual preview. So you can go to here and drag the container inside that, make it to full width. And I want to just duplicate that for our preview section. Okay, so first work with our this first container. So inside this container, we need to take another three container for our this back button, for this middle button, and this visit side button. So take a container here and make it to full width and make the width to 45%. Let's just duplicate this. Now for our the second container, I want to remove this width from here, okay? So lastly, I want to place these three container horizontally one after another. So for this, go to the parent container of this and make its direction to the row. Here we also don't need the gap between them, so make it to zero. 
now inside our this first container we need to take a button so drag a button here and i want to change this text and also add a back icon from here make some spacing between them 10 pixel and i don't want this green background color so make it to fully transparent also increase the font size to the 18 pixel and lastly also remove this padding so make it to zero okay now i want to place this button at the middle of this container so go to again this parent container here and for this one i want to make the align items to the center then we need some padding on the left and also on the right side so make the padding 50 pixel Okay, now before adding anything i want to make this containers background color to again this blue color and also add some border radius to these top corners so go to here and make these two top corner 25 pixel okay and lastly also give some minimum height from here now inside this middle container we need to add our these buttons so for that again add a button widget we don't need this text we only want to use an icon okay here you can see some gap on the right side also make it to zero and go to the style and i want to give some background color make the border radius to 5 pixel add some padding and also increase this icon size so like this one i also want to duplicate it two more times and for the second one instead of desktop i want to use the icon for the tablet and for the third one you know it will be the mobile icon and i think here we need to add some more padding to adjust the width so make it to 15 pixel and for this one 18 now i want to place all of this button at the middle so go to this parent container and first of all make its direction to the row and also make the justify content to the center reduce the gap between them to 12 pixel now that looks perfect so lastly here add our this visit side button again drag this button widget here and change this text as here we will put an external link so i want to open this link on a new tab okay and after that i want to align this on the right side then from the style also add some styling with that So our top bar is done. Then for our this preview here, I want to make its background to fully white. Okay, and here we need to remove this gap at the top. So go to this container and make the gap between them to zero pixel. Now here I want to adjust the height of this preview. I want to make this to the remaining full width. But before that, I want to place this full section at the top of our this page as a fixed position. So go to this parent container and here make its position to the fixed and also give it a higher Z index to place it at the top of your other content. Okay, now here I want to initially hide this pop up. I only want to show this when you click on these items. Okay so to do that here we need to add a class with our this top container rpb dash popup and then with our this preview we also need to add an another class rpb dash preview and lastly we need to again go to this top container and with that we need to add some custom css code now let's save this and from our preview now if we click on this nothing actually happens so to make it work we need to do an additional thing so go to each of these items on here and with our this caption here you can see also an description field here we need to put the link of our that live preview okay and we will do the same thing with our other images after adding all of this link here we need to again go to this overlay and make this description field to that description so now if you click on these items we can see the preview of that link okay and it will work for any of these items cool here i want to show you one another thing so if you go to this containers custom css from here you can also change some option like the width for the tablet and the mobile preview so right now for the tablet we have used 768 and for the mobile it's 420 pixel so you can also change that from here 
and here you can see for our this active button we have also used a different color so you can also customize that color from here and another option is tablet preview bar padding so here when we go our this tablet preview we can see an another reduced padding for this view so we can also control that from here okay next we also want to activate our this back button and all of this device button and the button on the right so to do that we need to go back again to here and if we open our this pop-up so here first of all with our this left container we need to add a class rpb-back and with our this middle container add rpb-buttons for the right one make it to rpb site link and lastly with our this container we need to add an another class rpb-bar okay and here when we add these classes do it very carefully because you can see here are a lot of nested container so it's very easy to mess up with that okay now let's update this and from our preview now we can see this back button works perfectly and also this visit site link this will redirect to the actual website and if we also click on these buttons this also works perfectly but we need to align this at the middle so again go to this container here and we need to make its align items to the center perfect now this looks good on our desktop devices then we also want to check its responsiveness for the tablet device let's go to here and i think we need to add some padding on the left and right okay so basically we can do that from our desktop so we go to here and with this gallery widget on the left and right make it to 30 pixel okay but the width now has been reduced we can increase that from here so now if we also see it from the tablet it looks perfect we only need to add some spacing at the bottom so go to here and make the spacing 40 pixel we will also check our pop-up okay everything is good but i think on the left and right we need to reduce its padding so go to this container here and reduce its padding to 35 pixel okay so here on tablet we don't have any desktop view so i also want to hide our this button for the tablet so go to this responsive option and i want to hide this on the tablet and also on mobile okay perfect so everything looks good lastly we also need to check this for our mobile device so here first of all we need to reduce the spacing here go to this gallery option make it to 30 pixel and also let's reduce the gap between these top items for that go to the style go to the filter bar and we will reduce the line height for this then for this pop-up we also need to fix this top bar so for this first container we need to make its width to 50 percent and also for this one make it to 50 percent and here on mobile as we only have the mobile preview we don't have the tablet or desktop preview so here i want to hide this whole container let's go to here go to the responsive option and i want to hide this whole thing and also from here make its order to the end so from the preview we can see now it also looks good we only need to reduce the padding on the left and right and also at the top so let's just quickly adjust this with this container make it to 30 pixel padding and for this spacing go to this container and make it to this so lastly i want to check this from all of the devices from desktop it looks good if we go to the tablet width it also works fine and lastly let's also see on mobile so right click on here and go to inspect click on this responsive icon and from here make it to responsive and make the width like 360 pixel okay we can see it also works fine so here for our desktop when we hover on this and click inside anywhere of this box we can see that pop up but for our this mobile device as there is no hover so first we need to click on that and then we can see that caption and then when we click on this see preview button then we can only see that live preview that makes sense because when i click on that i don't want to show that pop-up suddenly without reading this caption 
Okay, so that's all about today. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on my next video.